I'm now going to show an example of how to edit the graphical lists in C-Electrical. This is C-Electrical V8 R1, uh, build 18, but this uh, many of these features also work on earlier versions. So I'm going to start by taking an existing project and I'm going to go into the graphical lists, extend the node on the left, and then I'm going to right click and generate the document list. And if I click on the little plus to the left of it, I can see that that's generated a page. So as I zoom in, I can see that that's brought out information about the project, the sheets, and the information in there. Now, if I wanted to make a change to this, the simple way of doing this is simply to right click over document list and choose load page template. This brings up the page template in a format similar to the title block. In other words, it's locked as a page title block or template. So in order to make changes, the easiest way to do that is if I just navigate out a little bit, control A to select all, right click and then choose explode. Everything is now separate on the page. So I'm able to now make changes, move information around and I can adjust the report. So for instance, if I wanted to make a, a simple change um, such as changing the font, I could use control A to select all, go to edit text on the toolbar and I could change the font and maybe choose a different font. Just as an example, I click OK and close down the editor. It's important at that point I don't make any changes to the formatting, the justification there. So I've now changed the format. If I just zoom back out again, Control A to select all, right click and then choose block. The only options here in V8R1 are the block and in this case it's going to be a page template or title block. I'm going to click on OK. This is now back to being a locked layer and we can't change anything on there. Now the quick way of saving that as a template is simply to make um, to close down this report. So using the X on the tab to close it down. The software notices that something's changed and prompts you to save it with the same name. Now in order to go back I always prefer to have a backup so I'm going to change the name of that. Call it underscore A. Click on save and that's now ready and saved. If I was to generate this again, I would notice there's no difference. And that's because if I right click on the document list and choose properties, it's set to use a particular report. And we've saved one, or I just saved one as underscore A. So now if I change this, click on OK, when I run the report, I'm now generating this new one. 